Even though today's bring your kid to work day. Just let me go. You said yourself that you didn't have Welcome time to for Omni me. Consumer Products. I know who you How are, you? lady. You broke into the security room. You're up to something. Hey, Robo. There's could you resolve this issue we're having? Investigate. But someone's got to escort this trespasser out of the building. I could help in both cases. Good. The breach seems like a big job. Once you're done with her, can you join me in the server room? It's just down the hall. Sure he could. Don't think it's over, lady. I'll check the security cameras later to see what you've been up to. Expect a visit from the police in a couple of days. I'll buy coffee and donuts to welcome them. You are responsible for that security breach. I'm trying to save people's homes. Do I have to remind you what OCP is planning to do with the residents of old Detroit to create space for Delta City? I have a record of that issue. I need to find out what the estimates are for those additional costs. As you can imagine, they don't include them in their brochures. So I have to dig deeper. All the information I need to help those people is in the room where the security guard is expecting you. So can you help me get those records out? I will not let OCP hustle innocent people. You'll find the relevant data on one of the servers. I'll be waiting here to pick it up. A meeting regarding afterlife is taking place right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. You don't have the proper clearance. You won't be able to access the elevators, sir. Sir! Over here. Could you help me with these doors? Someone likely tried to lay a hand on the data collected in this room. The security breach caused them to lock down. Can you open them? I need permission to enter the restricted area and damage OCP property. Do whatever it takes. Now, I need to reboot the security system. The malfunction shut down not only the doors, but also a nearby metal detector gate. That should do it. Thanks for your help, Robocop. I'll stay here. I need to be sure the room is safe before the technicians arrive. My dumbass boss. Better not touch that computer. If the technicians figure out that someone was messing with it, they'll be pissed. So, you're still here? Your conflict with the head of security? What is that about? He's a walking sack of incompetence. For example, he put this metal detector gate nearby with no one to supervise it. So that means I have to run and check it every time it beeps. And don't even get me started on the door codes. I think I can tell you that. 
You're an OCP cop, right? My boss made it so the new security code for each door is always some number that you can easily find around the door. Thank God the doors aren't locked with keys. He'd probably make us leave keys under doormats. My duty awaits. Estimates. Do you have them? Make good use of them. You helped a lot of people with this, Murphy. But there is one more issue. Security footage. If I'm gonna expose OCP, I'd rather not be disturbed by anyone. Could you... Destroying evidence of a crime is beyond my programming. Who's talking about that? Shuffling database records will do just fine. All you need to do is recharge yourself using the computer in the security room. You could sure use a pick-me-up. You look pale, to be honest. I will do what needs to be done to protect the innocent. Thanks to you, I'll be able to focus on what needs to be done as well. Stay safe, citizen. I did some shuffling. Thank you. The people of old Detroit will not forget what you've done for them.
Let me get that door for you. I saw that whole scene. The way they treated you. Not on my watch. Going up? Beautiful, isn't it? Now this view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people, crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations. So that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. something. Do not be amazed when a man grows rich, for when he dies, he takes nothing with him. Until now. Afterlife, OCP's answer to death itself. As a front runner in human-machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg. This is how I see myself. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life. Or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, Robocop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Afterlife. Eternity. Today. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling afterlife. Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man canceled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? So you are selling something that does not work? That's advertising for you. At least with Afterlife, we won't get many complaints from the dissatisfied customers. Because <laughs> they'd be dead, you know? What about all the money that went into research? From what I hear, OCP gave it the college try. They spent a lot of money on some prototypes, but this time they ended up with nothing. That's how it often goes with these cutting-edge projects. I imagine there were quite a lot of unsuccessful Robocops before you came along. Where did they conduct the research for this project? I don't know, but I don't think it's in this building. I've noticed that there are always big cooling trucks parked in front of OCP when they're showing off new tech. Where is the old man? Probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I disagree.
Uh, can someone take this robot away from here? I'm trying to work. Why was he smiling when I signed it? He never stopped. Do you, you think have to stop coming to the down? office. You no longer work here. Put your hands up. You are under arrest. That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while. Life's passing you by. As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products passed away earlier this morning, we at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground. Especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Ah, oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife, and Delta City for that matter. Someone needs to take responsibility. Someone did. The demented old man behind all of this sick shit is dead. I'm shutting down Afterlife. So you should be happy. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment, since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the Arms Expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come! It's time to celebrate. Let's throw the old man a hell of a wake. Oh, Robo. That expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I... Because of the tragedy that has struck our company, you will be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning. The meeting is not included as work time. Thank you. The old man is dead. Yeah, I just heard. So what do we do about afterlife? Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. So what now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? The Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No. Stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the Expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. I can't believe he's gone. He was so young. Such a tragedy, but uh, are our police safe?
Good. Proceed to the main stage and stand on the podium. There's an old friend waiting for you there already. We have to be on the lookout for Antonovsky. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. Okay, don't smile. Creeping me out. It's showtime. Welcome, everyone, to the Detroit Arms Expo, where we will show you the newest, hottest advancements in urban warfare. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. Now, let's start the party. OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Those efforts gave us RoboCop and RoboCop 2. That's right. But much like our late CEO, RoboCop is the past. We need to look at the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement, the UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button. UEDs will be exclusively protecting the streets of Detroit since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. But no need for alarm, UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test, the protection of the mayoral election rally. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure you're dying to hear more about my robots, yes? I have a question for Robocop. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? The police did not strike. We were fired. The police left because they felt threatened by the UEDs. And rightfully so. My machines are superior in every way. A presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for Robocop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls show that Robocop's words and actions have influenced ratings for both candidates several times already. So, Robocop, could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mills' promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what, exactly? Get back with his family? Start a business? Join a bowling team? Or will you, contrary to your creator's interest, encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary? I support Mayor Kuzak. Thank you for such a straight answer. I'm sure there are people who've waited to hear it. Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. My robots. It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of, huh? I just need to find... the remote. And where did I put it? It's... Is that normal? Huh? I... It's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. What the hell are you talking about? What was that? All of you need to leave. What is happening? I lost my remote, that's what's happening. Turn the switch.
continue the fight! Did you remember? No, oh, damn it! But there's another way. We can't control them, but we can make them stop. Take me to the Expo Depot. The entrance is through Hall C. I'll open the gate. Just clear the space. The code doesn't work. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Just destroy the fuse box, and the gate will open. Do it! What is your plan? I give the orders and you follow them. Maybe it'll work that way for once. Okay, since I open the gate, you clear the way to Hall C. I remember differently. Your memory is glitchy. Out of the gate. We'll reach the depot from Hall C. We must manage this mess. Those UEDs are my ticket straight. Straight to the CEO's chair. This EMP device, how does it affect me? Don't worry. Nothing will happen. To your brain, at least. And that's the part you cherish the most, anyway. You'll be fine. Pave the way to the depot and don't bother your head with that. We don't want your wiring to burn out.
Good. We're close. And don't be afraid. Even if the EMP device fries your circuits or something, is it really such a big sacrifice to stop this mess? And I'm willing to make it. Oh no. I figured I'd meet you here, Robocop. Seems like you two have a lot to talk about. I don't want to be in your way. Nonsense, Mr. Becker. Since I have you here, thank you for providing me with this little thing. I was looking for a loyal partner. I was hoping it would be Robocop, but your droids will have to suffice. No problem. And thank you for choosing OCP. Now that my work is done here, so I'm just gonna get- Robocop, now that the old man doesn't need you, I don't need you. Keeping you alive this long was a mistake. Let me erase that mistake. <laughs> Sorry, I won't be staying to witness this. I need to start packing up the toys. Take care of him. Murphy, we have to fix you. We have to Target. erase you. It's my hand!
erase you. It's actually impressive how stubborn you are. At the same time, it's heartbreaking knowing that you never could have won. Oh, your creators made sure of that. That chip, OCP implanted in your brain. The one that was supposed to help you. It served as my collateral. It made sure that you could never touch me. It's activated with this. Oh, but I'm sure you already put that together. The old man wanted me to use it sparingly, as long exposure would melt your brain. Oh, now that's a visual. But since the old man's gone, I can do whatever I want. We packed everything, sir. Splendid. Duty calls. But I'm leaving you with something to remember me by. Good night, Murphy. Oh, it's been exhilarating. Now it's time to take what's mine. The city of Detroit. You're leaving us again? Dad? Don't go. Please. He's waking up. Oh no. What do we do? Murphy, stay calm. He's in so much pain. The chip. Remove it. The evaluation chip? How do we do that? I think I can help. There's a button here that will shut him down. Why is this place so deserted? What's with all the noise? It's Murphy. OCP sabotaged him. That's why Wendell was able to get the upper hand. Why? Robocop's their program. They wanted Robocop's data to use in the Afterlife Project. And no wonder. Robocop is the only successful cyborg that OCP has managed to produce. After they got what they needed, they just wanted him out of the way. Without getting their hands dirty. Those scumbags! What now? We need to get that chip out. It should be under the helmet. I saw someone take it off once. I think I can do it. What about the chip? It's here, but I don't think I can. Let me. I'm not squeamish. <laughs> I've done far worse things for far less. There you go, you little bastard. Is this it? Should I turn him back on? Do it. So, Murphy, how you doing? I am doing well, officer. So many familiar faces. Are we celebrating? Wendell certainly is. He stole a shit ton of heavy-duty equipment from that military expo. What happens when he decides to use it? He already has. You've got some nerve coming in here. With no police on the streets, every gang in the city is on the rampage. Detroit's on fire! She's right! I've got a call that Windows goons hacked the election broadcast to send a message. Citizens of Detroit, I'm sorry to inform you that help 
is not coming. You've been abandoned by the police, by your politicians, and by OCP. They all promised you a better life and tried to give you hope. And where did that lead you? Into a cesspool. I feel your frustration. I empathize with it, but let's not stop there. Let us do the only thing we can. Let's burn this filthy city to the ground. And from the ashes, let's rebuild something new. Something better. This is bad. Can we do anything about it? I mean, we've all been fired. Never stopped us before. But where do we start? The new mayor is stranded downtown. That's as good a place as any. All right, let's gear up. What do you say, Murphy? I thought you would never ask. Murphy, Lewis, Washington. Head downtown and help the mayor. I'll try to get as many officers to join you as I can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else? There are phones that need answering and no staff to do it. Sure. Why not? Wait, does anyone even know who won the election? Actually, no. But whoever did...